And I have been careful when I was handing over the flag to the commander that you have our support and our prayers. I also thank everyone on behalf of the people of Kenya, and I want to assure you that we do not take your role and contribution for granted, including the gallant sacrifices you embrace for our benefit. I encourage you to be our iconic ambassadors abroad as you have always been, and to continue embodying the noble values of bravery and patriotism in your mission. Always demonstrate the professionalism, integrity, and high sense of duty that is associated with the Kenya Defense Forces. In so doing, you will faithfully reflect the mission's values, rules of engagement, and ethos in delivering your mandate to the best of your ability and I assure you of my support, the support of the government of Kenya, the support of the people of Kenya, and we are all assure you of our prayers as you discharge this noble duty. Let me also confirm that together with our brother, the president of DRC, we have agreed on the framework under which Kenya is going to work with the DRC forces for the purposes of disarmament, for the purposes of ensuring that civilians are protected, and for giving a real chance to the people of DRC to work with their brothers and sisters in the East Africa community and in the wider context, context of the Africa continental free trade area and our continent so that we can unlock the huge potential that exists for shared prosperity within and between our countries. I dare repeat that we will not allow armed groups, criminals, and terrorists to deny us the potential for shared prosperity and the real chance of growing both our investments, our development, for the sharing in trade, for the mutual benefit of not just East Africans, but the entire region of our continent and humanity as a whole. With those remarks, therefore, I have the honor to officially flag off the Kenya contingent to the Eastern DRC and wish you good luck and God's blessings as you execute the mission's peace, support mandate under the East African Community Regional Force. I would request each one of us, all of us to be upstanding. <clears throat> so that I can also say a prayer for these men and women. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, before you and men are men and women from the Kenya Defense Force.